Hi, I'm Linda from Dying Dream. I thought I would show you how the Dark Unicorn colorway is made while giving you a bit of background on who Dying Dream is. Dying Dream is me! My family moved to Canberra, Australia while I was finishing high school. So I got to have my final year here. I'm still in Canberra now as I haven't felt the need to move away from the city that has everything, if you know where to look. My mother is the crafter in the family and through her I rediscovered knitting as an adult and learned how to spin from her. She also dyes her own yarn and I got to help her sometimes. Back to Dying Dream. In 2018 I wondered why I could not find any fluoro UV reactive yarn that was not acrylic and decided that there had to be a way to change that. Our local spinning guild who at the time sold dye powder, had a good laugh when I walked in with a UV torch to test the sample cards to see if any of the colours were UV reactive. And I found some. And that started my journey into neon coloured soft yarn. All yarn is dyed here in Canberra, Australia in small lots. And what you're seeing at the moment is two skeins being dyed. I found that two skeins is a good fit for the various pans and pots I use. UV photography. That's an entire new skill set that I needed to learn to demonstrate the effects of the yarn under UV light. Especially as Dying Dream is mainly online. I use acid dyes for all my dyeing and after the dye process all yarn gets washed on a wool wash cycle in the machine at 20 degrees celsius to ensure there is no leftover dye in the yarn you receive and that the colors didn't leak. Finally after the yarn has been dyed, washed, dried and twisted it is packed and is ready to ship to you.